quality supplements, giving solutions to individuals on how to prepare, how to protect themselves, and giving them the truth. It really all boils down to the truth. You know, no one is out there spreading the truth, whether it's- If you start oil, taking real pure iodine, it's revolutionary what it does to your body, what it does to your energy. Absolutely. When you well, take oxy powder and flush out your guts, it's revolutionary. This is real simple stuff that you and others have developed that's simply amazing. It's not like, you know, sometimes people call in and say, oh, yeah, who's that snake oil salesman or whatever? It's not about that. It's about helping people. It's about educating people. It's about telling them the truth. It's not like we have 500 products and we're saying buy everything. Well, it's the, no. but who I mean, the, the mainstream media pushes deadly pharmaceuticals all day and says they're all moral. But if we push just mainline herbs that boost your vitality, that in my experience works better than stuff like Viagra, that's supposedly evil. No, they try to shame us into not wanting to be big and not wanting to be successful. And I want to thank them for that because I was so humble, I would have never tried to go to the next level until I thought about why are they attacking me for reaching millions of people? Oh, they don't want me to grow. They're scared. Now we've got the Clinton documents from their uh, library where they were admitting all this. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Your phone calls are coming up in the next segment with Anthony Gucciardi who's going to be sitting here in the seat. I've got all these stacks of news, some of which we've covered, a lot of which we haven't. Dr. Grip's our guest, and he was just making the point about, you know, one of the comments he sees somewhere is, look at Alex Jones. He says his company costs over $10 million a year to run InfoWars. Wow, and now he wants more money. And I've actually talked to some of those folks on the ground. They're not really trolls. They have a nine-to-five job, which I'm not knocking. I kind of wish I had one sometimes. They don't understand. What a company grosses is not the profit of the company. It's well over $10 million to run it. It's, 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 it's like $400,000 just for the satellite and then closed captioning. I mean, they just don't understand what we're saying. Well, first of all, it's $10 million that you have gross. Then you give 40% of that to the government for taxes. So you've well, already broken thing. it down to $4 million. Under you Obama. you to run it on that. Well, but see, it's exactly. I, I gotta, the tax laws have changed so much. I, I should do a whole show on this and have a CPA on or a tax lawyer. Used to, I could buy TV equipment, computers, you know, a $50,000 switcher, which is a cheap one. You know, the good ones are like 150000 so stuff doesn't mess up. The guys are working with, you know, lower-grade stuff because we do it on a little bit cheaper, which is fine. But exactly, now they don't give you the, quote, write-off on equipment or a studio. It's, this is supposedly mine now. Well, it's totally worthless if it wasn't here. This is not my property, but, oh, it is. So I pay taxes on, quote, things I have, you know, or this company has, that is just the infrastructure. So, yeah, exactly. They've gotten rid of all the write-offs, you name it. That's another thing that's killing us. Go ahead. No, that's that's what I was going to say. You were leading into, and what I was talking about at the break is, is people think that you have a multi-million dollar company or you you're grossed five million in sales, but they don't realize that, you know, for, the government's going to take 40% of that. Then you have overhead, then you have your equipment, you know, then you have your chair, which that you can't even write off charitable contributions. Exactly. Anymore. Let's say you sell $15 million <laughs> of supplements, just, just a hypothetical number. Okay, you buy them, you pay the insurance, do all the stuff, ship them, deal with it all. Let's say you make profit on half of that. So now you've got uh, $7.5 million. Now you pay 40% to the government, then you pay the state taxes, local taxes, all the rest of the employee taxes, deal with some lawsuits, all, you know, all the craziness that goes on in any business. This is overall getting the word out, but it runs as a business and a free market system. We're left with like 30% of the money. And then that's the money to get more equipment or hire people or expand. I mean, it's just crazy town. Yeah, because that's why there's so many investors usually that want to come into companies because you get to a point in your growth where you really need, you, you either struggle and you do it slow and steady wins the race or you, you need outside funding to come in. I mean, to get to that next point. And that's what this is. It's kind of like our shark tank that people want to fight the globalists. You know, we'll be there. We'll fight for your second amendment. We'll fight for your family rights. We'll fight for your medical rights. We'll fight for sovereignty. We'll fight against you throwing our military away like garbage, throwing our babies away like garbage. We just fight for ourselves. That means fighting for you. We have empathy. And when you go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb, when you donate $50 or $100 or $5, when you buy books and videos, when you take advantage of free shipping over the 28-hour broadcast, a 20% off Survival Shield, Super Mel Vitality, Brain Force, uh, Deep Cleanse is 15, Secret 12, 15, Oxy Powder is 15. When you do that, we got some special hourly stuff coming up next on products individually, not these. 
you are fighting the tip of the spear. So I want to salute you and thank you for that. Now, Dr. Group, tell folks some of what's coming up. You've got a lot of news issues, some really important stuff you're going to be covering with Anthony Gucciardi. Right. Well, first of all, we're going to be taking calls because everybody loves to get their health questions answered. So we're going to be focusing on that probably for a little while. And then we're going to be talking about some good news that's happening. Some Camera forward, little groupie. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm joking. He's awesome. No, I know there's no light on it, so you wouldn't know that. Uh, so we're going to, well, I like to look at you back and forth anyway, because you always have those. Oh, I know you're, you're awesome. <laughs> I that big, fat, ugly face. <laughs> Joe, I'm sorry. And you're really not sweating that much either, but it's, they, it's been staying kind of cool in here, but they put an extra air conditioner around like a portable one today. Yeah. Right. Feel like a King. They're not burning me up today. Yeah. So, I mean, you're going to be able to go the whole 28 hours, but we're going to be covering a lot of recent news, a lot of good things that's going on, a lot of, you know, political things that are happening. But really, most importantly, is trying to focus on some solutions that we can give people in their in their life, whether they're stressed, depressed, and focusing on the root cause of some of these things, and you know, giving them solutions right away that they can implement today. So that's that's really what the what the show is going to be about is giving back, just like everybody is giving back to you and donating and with all the product specials that you have going on they're really giving back to themselves we're giving back to them as well so it's really just a combination of you know a show that we're going to give them information they're, they're giving us and i think we may uh, make the funding. goal of a million dollars the biggest we ever did was seven hundred thousand. uh it looks like we may actually reach the goal at current trends so i want to thank everybody that is donating that's really exciting because I really want this to succeed with the affiliates. I really want to reach hundreds of UHF, VHF, and cable channels. We've already got hundreds of them calling us up. It's it's a big job getting hooked up with them, but it, it's just amazing. Uh, Chris, listening on 910 AM, K-I-N-A in Kansas. Uh, you're up next. Then Justin, A.D., Dion, Lucas, and others. Please be patient. We'll get to you before they cover all the news. We're going to go to a round of calls. We're Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show on this Money Bomb special. We're going to be going for 28 hours up until tomorrow. Alex just left us. He'll be back soon. And I'm Anthony Gucciardi sitting in with Dr. Edward Group. Coming up tonight, we've got the nightly news, which is going to sit in and kind of comment on the debates, the Republican debates tonight, and break down what's really going on with those debates. We've also got a lot of news to cover. Alex didn't even get to about 50% of the stack. There's a lot left. We've got... President Obama orders behavioral experiments on American public. Nearly one in five Americans suffer from mental illness, apparently, according to this new report. Abnormal is the new normal, how everyone is going insane. U.S. adults are dumber than the average human. 25 fast food chains ranked on antibiotic usage. Agencies say they need to access Americans' emails without a warrant. The list goes on and on and on. Now, briefly, this is a money bomb special and at InfoWarsLife.com and InfoWarsStore.com, you can get free shipping for 28 hours. Okay, that's an unprecedented amount. 20% off Survival Shield X2 Nation Iodine. 20% off Super Male Vitality. 20% off Brain Force, which I just took before I came in this show. 15% off Deep Cleanse. 15% off Secret 12 and 15% off Oxy Powder. Biggest discounts that I've ever seen Alex do. You can get these for 28 hours. And uh, coming up in the next hour, we're having another discount that we're going to premiere. But Dr. Group, getting into a new realm of all of this news and also tying it into what you guys were talking about before, one of the things that I want to talk about is the ways in which we are consuming media and the ways in which we are consuming a number of different things affecting our ability to think. And I think I've really boiled it down for this program. I've been thinking about it a lot these past few days, knowing that I had some time on this program to talk about some of the news, some of the issues. We can get into why one in five Americans are supposed to suffer mental illnesses each year and why U.S. adults are dumber than the average human. But I think it really comes down to the consumption, the media consumption. And we know most media groups are owned by six different corporations. And as Alex was talking about, they're pumping millions and millions of dollars into all this. That's also why it's centerfold for us to understand that the money bomb is just really about pushing forward alternative news, real news, and fighting those conglomerates because they have billions upon billions of dollars. I want to get into ways that we can kind of hijack our brain back from those people, solutions, what the top news you think is that's important, and really what is going on. So what do you have on your huge stack over there? I don't know if we can show his stack. It's almost as big as this stack. We have like six stacks of news that we need to get. <laughs> I have a lot of different things. And it really, you know, everything always comes back to the amount of toxins that you're exposed to. You know, 
if you have a calcified pineal gland. But mentally, too. I mean, is, there's such a thing as toxic information, right? Yeah, Because we're absolutely. battling toxic. It's all fronts, I think. We're having the physical war for our health with Monsanto and the antibiotics and all the craziness like that. We're having the mental consciousness war. We're being bombarded by moguls of media that just attack and destroy things that are just crushing our brain. And then at the same time, we have kind of a social situation, right? Mm -hmm. Because if we go out and we talk about these things to some of our friends and family, they say, oh, you're crazy, whatever. They're just horribly negative people that don't want to hear the truth about things. So we're being attacked on all these fronts. And I think that's what shapes kind of this media system. Well, we have more mental illness now than we've ever had in the history of the world. Depression, anxiety, you have children on psychiatric medications, adults on psychiatric medication, so much psychiatric medication in the water supply even that if you're in Europe and you drink a gallon of water in one day, it's the equivalent of one Prozac. So uh, all of those things wow. people are exposed to and... It does. It's it, it's negative. It's it's the fear. A lot of that is generated through media. I mean, pick up any newspaper, watch any TV show, any movie. I mean, look at the movies that are out, zombie movies. Uh, it's all killing. It's all negative, negative, negative. I mean, you really have to almost live in a bubble to not be exposed to negative media somewhere. And now, I mean, documents are, are becoming unclassified that date back to the 1960s, talking about psychological warfare. You have HARP. They opened up uh, military bases and, and were testing even in the 1970s on different types of sound technology that they can make you happy. They can make you sad. They can make you angry. Uh, all of these, you know, really kind of comes back to the mind. You know, can how can you control your mind or... Are you even able to control your mind? That's a good point, too, because most people, I think, don't even know how their mind works, let alone how their body works. They don't know anything, you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, and according to these, these articles, U.S. adults are dumber than the average human. Now, that said, I believe everyone has the intrinsic ability and intelligence to really wake themselves up and do whatever it is they want in their life. But at the, at the basic levels, someone does know how to control your brain. The corporations know how to control your brain that advertise to you, you know? Your brain is being controlled. And it reminds me of yesterday... I was in a lobby and there was a TV on and on the television, it was like a shooting and then they showed war and famine and it was a bank robbery where someone was being shot outside the bank and then there was forest fires and floods and all these things and it was all just pure fear. And, you know, we, t we say, oh, will you cover things that are bad? You're promoting fear. There's a difference between showing, oh, we're all, you know, war is great. We all need this evil in this world versus, hey, how about... The fact that this article talks about agencies say they need access to Americans' emails without a warrant. It's not being negative. If Let's say you have cancer. It's not being negative to say, hey, you have cancer. You need some treatment for that. You need to fix that. You need to do something about it. This is cancer. Agencies spying on your emails without a warrant, doing whatever they want. That's cancer. This country has cancer. To highlight that is actually being positive. It's actually doing something. It's actually a solution. That is true positivity to help people to waken up to that reality. Let's get someone into some of the news that you have over there as well. Well, you touched on it. One of mine was is 25 fast food chains ranked on antibiotics use. And the reason I bring this up is because, I mean, what is the, there's so many people coming down with infections these days. I mean, I, it seems like somebody calls, you know, I have a hundred people call my office every single day saying, is there some natural alternative to antibiotics? I was on antibiotics for this. It is the honest truth and that most doctors, when you go to the hospital, no matter what you have, you will leave the hospital with a prescription for antibiotics. And what's happening is all these antibiotics are not only used for humans, but they're also used for all the animals. Like 80% going to live. 80% of the, you know, all the chicken feed is mixed in, the, the livestock, the pigs. You know, unless, of course, you eat antibiotic free, which would in the water supply, promote, too, though. And it's exactly so we're developing resistance to these harmful organisms. And so uh, because we this, use the antibiotics and then that develops the resistance of the antibiotics. So since we're just getting antibiotics dumped into us at all times, it loses it loses the potency. Right. You know, it's like if I were to punch you a little bit in the arm over and over every day for five years, you wouldn't even realize I was punching you anymore. Well, that's the thing. It's usually the unseen things that affect you. The CDC uh, said more than 2 million people in the U.S. get infections every year that are resistant to antibiotics, and around 23,000 people die from these infections. 
Nobody knows about that. I mean, just think, 23,000 soldiers die over there. It's a big deal. No, but all of this is covered up by the medical profession. And the use of antibiotics in foods is 